I'm sure he's not going to be really tight in regards to being able to make shots, but he can be a factor just getting others involved and getting them organized. Bam! With a pick, roll, and slam! Guys on the move, willing to make the pass ahead as opposed to taking extra dribbles and trying to deliver the pass on a drive and kick themselves. Here's Lamelo hitting the runner. Plenty of minutes in the preseason, but this is his regular season debut this year. Yeah, what makes him unique is he's 6'7", so being able to finish inside. Well, again, hit him with the change of pace. Went right at him one-on-one. -on -one. He was isolating Plumley inside, able to get to that pull-up 10-footer. Oh, and then challenge points off those turnovers, so that's really hurting the Hornets right now. That's why they've lost seven straight games in nine of their last ten. Bam, a bump, and a dunk. Points for the Heat center. Uh, he just, he hit, he made contact with Plumley, but it wasn't enough. I like the no call and obviously able to step through. And the center leads the break. Oh, he found Jimmy underneath. Struce, a corner three. You gotta love it. Unselfish play on the kick out there, also by Jimmy Butler. His third assist to lead the team. Rogier, nice find. Plumley hammers it down. NBA team. Jimmy gets the switch. Book night defender. Struce lets it fly. Kaboom. And then closing out. That allowed Rozier to get the step on him. Kyle Lowry for the cutting. Butler hammered it down right on. Struce, Bam, and Caleb Martin take a seat for the first down. Heat ahead by eight. Rozier fires a three and buries it. Some reliable veterans who have some offensive skills. It, it's got to help them. Yeah, they're getting thrust in the spotlight right now. Rozier with another triple. Lowry already four boards and a couple of assists. Here comes Rozier. That's James Buckner. And the former Connecticut. Matter of fact, missed all five of his shots in the game. One point heat lead. Deadman for three. The mechanical. And LaMelo Ball getting his second stint. Ball played the first seven minutes of the game. McDaniels for the cutting. Richards, he hammered it down. Gabe Vincent. An open three. Oh, he just out hustled ball. Pass and cut, pass and move. Gabe Vincent relentless with his footwork there. Gets rewarded on the kick out pass for three. Jalen McDaniel. Three point lead for Miami. Three seconds left in the quarter. LaMelo Ball. A speeding bullet. Beat the clock and scored. And three rebounds in the first quarter. But Charlotte, well, they shot 64% in the first period. Vincent, open three. Kaboom. Defense better is the third year in a row that you've practiced it a lot and used it a lot. So some good corporate knowledge of how to play zone and how to... We've got a three-point game. Miami on top. Backdoor cut, Struce. Nobody home for Charlotte. That's interesting because he's played his first two games in a row, 30 minutes or more in the Heat's last two games. And, oh, Deadman blocked that on Plumley. Miami ahead, 46 to 41. Lowry against the big man Plumley. The step back, yes. Count it for Kyle. And splashed in a 15 foot. Seven point heat lead, loose ball. Martin gobbles it up. Hurt. Throws it down. Both her sons got lucrative new contracts in the offseason. Both are good NBA players and great kids. That's Kelly Oubre Jr. It's need to match their largest lead. At, oh, actually, they did have a nine-point lead. Right now, it's eight. Plumlee gets out of trouble. Rozier buries a three. Jack, no foul and no rebound either. Oubre Jr. on the pull-up splash. Hornets have even the game. Trying to take the lead. They do on the Rozier score. Miami 16 and giving them a huge lift here to close out the half. Kyle Lowry with two seconds on the clock. Put it up. In and a foul. 54% in the first half. And they held the Heat to 33% shooting in that second quarter. Bam underneath. Crushed it. Hornets did not take their first lead in the game until just under four minutes left in the second quarter. There's Max. Kaboom. Another ball slicing through. Rogier, oh, colliding with Martin and scoring anyway. Since for them, it's done a nice job in that combo guard role can play out there with LaMelo Ball. Good ball movement for the Butler three. Under it because of the Bam contest. Kyle Lowry down the middle for Struess. Here it comes. Kaboom. On display up from the Miami side. Plumley on the turn, put it in. 
Larry will send it in under the basket. The heater shooting in. Struce from the corner. Kaboom. On that inbound pass to that short left corner. So John Miami has made their first seven shots of the quarter. Make it eight and the... Bam posting Plummer. Oh, nicely done. And I'm happy that she's enjoying herself, and my family is enjoying it more than I am. Here's Oubre, answers the Struce. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I have fun and one. Oh. There you go, give and go, baby, give, give and go. go. Unless I was playing against somebody that I wanted to ultimately kill, then I just go ahead and kill him from the beginning. <laughs> Between Deadman. Fine man and the same toughness. And, and Coach those. Pro, he was our film guy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and look at him now, right? right? And then had to go to overtime to beat Sharp. Jalen McDaniels swings in. Nick Richards down the loose ball. So much room with, with no defender immediately around them. Lamello on the leaner. Nick Richards on the offensive glass and a foul. And he has a season high 20 points tonight. His fifth straight game in double figures. Vincent this year averaging nine points a night. Oh, pretty. By the way, the Heat are 17 for 20 from the free throw line, looking to go over 80% for the 12th game in a row. Kaboom! Five and a half minutes to play, a 14-point lead. Vincent for Bam! Slam! Top and get Bam activated there for the strong finish. 16-point Heat lead, just under five minutes left. And that's a nice move. Struce working hard without the rock and knocking it down with 325 to play. Lowry set up Martin. Oh, blocked from behind by Ubre Jr. Bam, dotted line jumper, got it. Oh, Bam out there handling the ball, going right around Plumley. Oh my! A slam to slam the door closed. Their second straight game for the second time this year. They score a season high 132 points and they end up blowing out Charlotte by 17.